Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry. I know I have not posted in a very long time. And people have asked me like, are you not doing YouTube anymore? But no, I am and here I am, I'm back. I hope everyone had a great Christmas. I wish you all a very happy new year. It's crazy, like 2020, it went by like this. Not 2020, 2019 went by like this and it's already 2020, like that's insane. Um, but yeah, but I wish each and every one of you much happiness and success this year. So let's get to it. This video is going to be about California and um, pretty much if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I recently just went to California. Um, I went during Christmas basically vacation or break. Uh, my husband and I, we spent Christmas Day over there. Part of the new year, um, we spent it over there as well. And I was thinking about it like, I don't really want to block this trip. I sort of just want to enjoy it with my husband and sort of just like spend more time with him and not really like on the camera or on the phone. Um, but I did decide to do this video and talk about the top 10 places that I think and I recommend you visiting if you haven't already done so or if you're planning on going to California. Um, and it's just awesome. And I'm going to be talking about places that are close by LA and then um, San Diego as well so not in the like upper north of California so I just want to talk a little bit more of like the places that we did visit which was centered um, sort of like by LA and um, San Diego so yeah so let's get to it so number one oh and also all these places are not like ranked um, from like my most favorite to the least favorite um, they're all great places to visit so I do recommend each and every one of them so they're not in order okay so number one is Venice Boardwalk in Santa Monica. Um, so the reason why I put them together is because they're literally right next to each other. So you usually start at Venice Boardwalk and then you, if you basically walk the entire boardwalk up to Santa Monica, like pier, um, you'll get to Santa Monica. So they're very close by. I recommend it. Um, during the boardwalk, you have Venice Beach. So you have the beach next to you. You come across a lot of talented people. There's the skate park. There's also the Muscle Beach Gym. Um, and it's just, you basically see a little bit of everything. You see everyone's culture, um, you see like people that are very talented and artistic, and then you also see like other people that are not. Um, you see a lot of people that are high, a lot of bums. Um, but you see a little bit of everything and I think it's like awesome and it's a nice walk to take. You can also bike there, you can run there, um, you can get like a little scooter or you can walk as well. Um, we've done basically all of them. So up to the pier, it's maybe around 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes I want to say. Depending on how you walk or how fast you walk and how often you're stopping. But it's really nice and, I, and you'll really enjoy it. And the Santa Monica Pier is also very nice, full of talented people. There's other people that are doing like art or just like other little things. There's more food um, at Santa Monica Pier. There's some restaurants, there's a lot of stores that like sell souvenirs. They sell um, shirts and hats. And then you have like a mini little entertainment park that has like a roller coaster. The Ferris wheel is there. And yeah, and it's just a great place too. Um, usually my husband and I, we love going to Santa Monica and we usually just like relax. I love watching the sunset from there, which is really nice. And it's just, it's, it's awesome. So the second one is going to be Hollywood Boulevard um, slash the Walk of Fame. Pretty much is where all the stars are at, the Walk of Fame. So it, it's a long walk as well if you like cover the entire thing. And here it does get pretty crowded because you're sort of walking like on the sidewalks. So there's a lot of people, but I mean it's manageable, right? I mean it's a very touristic place so a lot of people go there. So they have like the Chinese theater, they have stores. Um, where they sell souvenir stuff but they also have like regular stores so they have like forever 21 they have marshall's and just like little stores like that on hollywood boulevard you will also see where all the tours are at so like tmc um starline tours hollywood tours um and you can basically catch them from that location and get more information there there's also artistic people that are basically on the sidewalk um that's why it gets crowded because a lot of people just like stop um, which is great to see as well. They also have like a little mall outlet um, that you can go to, which is great too. And it's just a place that you should go to, right? I mean, to see the Walk of Fame, it's it's nice. It's just a nice walk. And most of the activities is like you do a lot of walking. And then from there, you can also hike to the Hollywood sign, which we have done before as well, which was very tiring, but it was fun and it was worth it. And it's something that you can do as well. Okay, and then moving to number three is the Griffith, which is not too far from Hollywood. 
So the Griffith um, is located like in an upper mountain. Um, so you sort of have to like go on your way to get there. It is a great view to the Hollywood sign. It's a great view to the entire city as well. Um, we enjoyed it so much going there. It's actually one of our favorite places. Um, you can just like relax and you can sit like on a bench and just stare at the city. And it's just really nice. And actually the location is called the Griffith Observatory because you can actually go inside the place and it just basically has a lot of like science and planetary things that you can view. Um, which is also awesome if you like that type of stuff but if you're just going to see the city or going to see the Hollywood sign it's a great spot so we recommend that as well um, number four is going to be Beverly Hills as most of you probably already heard Beverly Hills it's a location where there's uh, wealthy people it's a uh, it's known for a wealthy neighborhood so in a specific Rodell Drive they have a lot of stores there, so they have popular clothing stores, so such as Coach, um, Versace, Gucci, Prada, um, all those like popular, well-known branded stores are there. Um, so a lot of people go there to just look at the stores um, or even to buy stuff, just to walk. It's a very beautiful place because it's full of palm trees. California is full of palm trees in general, but Rodeo Drive is literally like a drive and you see palm trees like everywhere so it's really really nice it's just a very elegant fancy location um, and it's really nice to like just walk around look at the stores window shop or actual shop um, and yeah it's just really pretty there okay and we're moving to number five which is um, Malibu so Malibu is actually one of my favorite places to go to like I love going there and every time like my husband sometimes we got stuck on where to go. He's like, where do you want to go? And I'm like, Malibu. Like, Malibu. I just love the views there because it's literally by the beach. I'm um, just looking at the houses. Like, I'm just amazed because the houses are so nice. And it's just really, really pretty. And they have a little bit of everything there. So, they have, like, a whole bunch of beaches. They have Suma Beach, which is really known for, like, surfers. Like, people that surf usually go there. And last time we went... Um, we actually got to see dolphins, which was so awesome. Um, they also have like Big Rock Beach. They have a Matador Beach, which is another beach that's really nice. So just in general, Malibu is a great place. Um, if you're planning to like dine in there, it is pricey because, I mean, it is by the beach, but it's so worth it and we just love it. Since we're already by Malibu, number six is going to be Escondido Falls and Malibu State Creek Park. We actually just did this in December. We went hiking to both locations and they are great. Like they're awesome. They're both closely by Malibu. So we sort of like visited all three locations at the same time because they're right by each other. Um, Escondido Falls, you basically hike about maybe like two miles like in the forest. There's some uphills, there's some downhills um, and it's really nice. We really enjoyed it. And then you get to like a small waterfall, which was really pretty and I feel like it was worth it. Um, but I did get tired this time around. And then the other one is just like a flat hike pretty much and you get to see um, a lot of trees, a lot of mountains. You get to see a, a couple of like waterfalls and lagoons and stuff. So it's really nice and we recommend those two if you're looking to like do something outdoorsy like hike. And number seven is going to be Universal Studios. So we didn't get to go to Universal in December but we did go to Universal um, twice already and we love it like I love Universal it's just so pretty and it's just obviously they don't have that here in Chicago so every time we go we try to like do something cool like that and we enjoyed it I love going there in the night because all the lights come up and it's just a very nice view but just in general for entertainment it's great the rides are great and it's just really pretty and then number eight is going to be Manhattan Beach. Manhattan Beach is actually one of my favorite beaches. Like, I love it. I just feel like it's so clean. It's never too crowded. They have like a really small um, pier that you can go to. We love going there for sunsets because there's really nothing that's like blocking your way. Like, that's in your way. So it's really, really nice. Um, I love Manhattan Beach. And if you get the chance, you should definitely go to this beach. It's very chill, very relaxing. Like I said, it's very clean. Um, and I don't know, it just feels like homey. So now going towards like San Diego, we made a couple stops last time we went to San Diego. So number nine is going to be Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach is another beach that was definitely one for the books. Um, it's so nice there and there's a lot of like things to do around there too. So like you can dine in, you can walk, you can shop. 
and they have like the beach which is really pretty they have really nice views um, they have like a section where there's like um, rocks that you can go on and you can see like little crabs and it's just so pretty like Laguna Beach is really nice a really nice beach to like hang out at and just relax there oh my goodness like they say that when you're pregnant you run out of breath and like I didn't believe it but oh my goodness like you do like I'm out of breath like all the time okay so number nine was Laguna Beach number 10 it's going to be La Jolla Cove another place that is so pretty actually when I went for the first time which was in May I was amazed of how beautiful it was like it was just so pretty and they have seals there and for those that know me I love animals like I am obsessed with any type of animal besides like scary ones like rats and spiders and snakes and all that but other than that other animals I love and this place like is full of seals and they're like so close up to you like it's insane how closely they get to you they're not afraid of you and they're just I love them and the cove was great you get to go on top of it too and like take pictures and it's definitely a spot you should check out if you go to California and you want to um, visit like San Diego it's literally right in the center so you can definitely stop by and check it out guys I think I messed up my number so I think I said the top 10 but I actually have 11 here so 11 is just San Diego San Diego is really nice we were able to stay there for a couple of days. It's beautiful in the night. Um, it's like a small city. It's it's really nice, a lot to do. The food was great as well. Um, and just a lot of places that you can go to to like pay, take pictures. But it's awesome. It's so pretty and I totally like recommend it to go there. But thank you so much guys for watching. Once again, I really hope that you get the chance to visit California if you haven't done so already and get to explore any of these locations. Um, they are great. Just to let you know, the only thing that sucks about like California is just finding parking. Um, you basically have to pay for parking. It's sort of like here, like in downtown Chicago. But over there, you have to pay for parking literally everywhere you go. And like sometimes it's really hard to find parking. Um, so just getting to like find a parking spot or like looking for signs, make sure you read the signs as well because sometimes they have like certain restrictions that you can park at a certain specific spot. But other than that, California is great, these places are great and these are only a few of like many that I did not mention or many that I have not even been to. Um, so yeah, and I'm also planning to like do another video of like the top food places that I, we recommend going in LA or around. LA anywhere in California that we already been to that are great spots as well so just stay tuned for that and just thank you so much for everything guys for watching this video bye, -bye.